I will put that person in their place and let them know that I am here to do so. Like yeah. I'm not, it's not a, you're not going to do this. Like even people who's been playing this game for hell, two years, almost I'll go up to them and be like, excuse me, what the fuck? What is wrong with you? You know, like, I'm, I'm pretty um, sure this whole on. situation though, is just Trump, a Trump change. Trump change is another great example. Trump change has been playing this game forever. He took two of three of my members from me without asking me, talking to me or saying anything. You know, I, I believe in consideration, right? If I were to come up to one of your members who are valued in your guild and one of your best players, I'd be like, Hey, your guild member said that they want to join my guild. I don't really want to take your best members that you have. How do you feel about it? I'd actually you know? be fine if somebody, like if somebody uh, wants but, to leave and join somewhere else, but that's, but again, there's a difference between you, you're new, you're, you're a new player. And I imagine spending like three months, three to five months working with a player to develop them just so they can leave and go to a better, quote unquote, better guild just because they want a name tag, you know? What? Well, like I that, mean, yeah, I'd be a little hurtful. upset, but it's, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's just ultimately hurtful. their choice. Again, it is their choice. But imagine that person did not do that, and they were the person like I came up to your guild member and I was like, "Hey, join my guild! Hey, join my guild! Hey, join my guild!" You know, that's shitty on that person who's doing that, bantering and bothering someone over and over again, like when they were already happily in their guild. You know, it's it's like playing devil's advocate, right? Because you got to look at both sides there, because. Not only are on one side the person wasn't considering leaving their guild, but now you offered them something, so you're adding a new element into there, which is called it's your fault at that point, right? Like take responsibility of your own actions for installing doubt, right? Yeah, I, I see what you mean, but if if somebody wants to leave here, and like I don't I don't have to be like notified or something. I'll just notice right. left and it's like oh okay. Yeah, again, but. That's You've not put Kendrick in the Gilles. effort, <laughs> right? But again, you guys haven't put <laughs> forth the amount of effort, right? That some of these, some people. Yeah, no. Mm. <laughs> Lilith is funny. Yeah. We need to so, wait, like, isn't that the cult or which one's the cult? No, that's the damn. Um, but like I said, now imagine putting like 75 to 100 hours of your time into teaching or helping players, you know, a single person. And, they, you know, they were loyal to you. They did, you know, they ran dungeons with you every day. You know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden some big way comes and says, you know what, join my guild because I can give you something a little better. That it just, it doesn't sit well. Like it, it's a community. Like this community is so small and tight knit that you can't have that sort of drama. In. And as soon as you start installing that drama, that's when guilds start splitting away and they can't communicate with one another because you cause, you know, barriers and lines. And that's what causes like the community to, you know, implode. So you have to be a little courteous and considerate of each different individual because you're trying to create good vibes for the whole community, right? Yeah. It's, it's much more political. I'm probably a little distant uh, from like this sort of thing because this is the first uh, MMO I've played. Right. Uh, and before this, I only ever really played uh, uh, games like Smite and um, right. uh, Arc Survival Evolved PvP. It's so. a lot. It's a lot to it. Like, because what you're getting into in like MMOs as far as in game content and large guilds are concerned is politics. Right. Being a guild master is literally you're you're going to be dealing you're gonna be dealing with politics. Because what's gonna suck is like say you get some good members, Carnage will try to get them. Uh I, honestly Carnage is really notorious for pulling yeah, so the best members out of every guild just to try to, you know, increase their you know, best right, player, it, aren't right? they like the, the best in the the leaderboards or whatever? Yeah, right now they are. Yeah, they're number one on PVE. They still peels in the arena circle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Virus, oh, I've heard uh, of that one. You, virus was okay, but virus imploded after uh, <laughs> what was vodka and whiskey left? Like. They just their two main players vodka were and whiskey. <laughs> yeah, the boyfriend and girlfriend. You know, they're just. <laughs> Anyway, so they left, they stopped playing, and then it really kind of crumbled from there. So, I mean, again, lots of guild politics going on, like, in, in the in-game community, right? So, and it causes, like, so, 
reverberation is a good word for it, I think. Because uh, when something hits and it hits the water and it causes the ripple effect all the way through, right? That's reverberation. And you cannot, like, you don't want to be that teardrop that hits the water to cause all those ripples, right? Because that's just going to cause a lot of issues amongst the community. You're going to, you just, to build a good guild name, like, and a good reputation for your guild and yourself, you, you you have to do like you know up and up shit. So like it's it sucks and it's a lot of work. Hi, Orbit. I am gonna oh, to try to get better at that, but I I don't know if you watched the anime uh, No Game No Life, but I'd I'd much <laughs> rather just be like the god of play. Uh, <laughs> so. Hey. Hi, Tweedles. But yeah, like I said, it's it's just it depends on how far you want to go with you you know your fellowship and how far you want to go in the game, you know. Because oh, I'm just trying like, to have fun. I don't care about uh, like leaderboards or anything like that. So I just want to be friendly friend. with everybody. Basically, have everyone as a friend and just you know piano <laughs> fun times. Mm -hmm. Piano fun times. <laughs> uh, Darth who? Your brother's somewhere, Orbit. He's been trying to talk to me, and I, I tried to tell him I was in here. You should yell at him and tell him to come in here or something, since he's... Hey, Ian. Thank Where are your you, so socials over? Yo. Uh, which ones? Uh, uh you back. said you stream, right? Uh, yeah, I do stream. <sighs> I'm trying to, to get into the, the culture of the game. Oh, uh, okay. Understand all the politics and whatnot. Uh huh. Uh, you definitely you can seem add like me a good on Discord. Source. Yeah, I, you can add me on Discord. It's overrated, regular, spelled regularly, capital O, and it's one three three seven. So, if you want to add me on Discord, I can uh, uh, talk it to like you. Looks like he was out doing out. some missions or something. Uh, okay. So. But I told him we were here. Yeah, like I said. If he didn't make such, like, false accusations, right? Because if it was just friendly banter between you and him, by all means, that's fine, right? That's just friendly banter. Yeah. But don't bring a whole guild, you know, worth of people well, involved into your own banter, you know? Right, like, I'm not trying to, you know, keep this, like, going or anything, but by, uh, he, I don't, he didn't mean to, like, you know, uh... Yeah, I know, I, it, it got a lot bigger than he thought it would. Exaggerate it, or make it, whatever. He again, was just trying to, again, you know, be yeah. fun, you know. Yeah, no, I, I take, when people are, even accusations of people being rude or not cordial to my guild members very seriously. Because I think, like, my goal in this game is to make sure that they're having fun, right, and having a good time. And I'll take the brunt of any of that, like, if I have to. Like, regardless of what it is, who it is, whoever's being, you know, they can attack me, right? As opposed yeah. to them. And that's fine with me, right? Like, I don't mind people coming at me because I'm thick-skinned, you know? Like, you're not going to hurt my feelings. Hey, in any sorry way, about before. that. That was entirely my... I should have been more... Uh, yes. Correct about it. Sorry. Because I got in both their asses, like, and they were like, whoa, what the fuck? Slow down. And I'm like, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah. So and that's not fair to him. So you should probably apologize to your brother because I was no, not the nicest person. Like, I, I understand again. what he meant by it. He understands oh, right. what I meant by it. It's all good. But also know that that's just, dude. I'm a dad. I'm old. Like I don't. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't. Yeah. That's not. You know. Like I treat these young. Young, young get hard though. Young get hard. No, not at all. I'm an old <laughs> oh, man, bro. I told my my no, my girlfriend. Games. No, no, Pretty no. Cool. I, I told my girlfriend, right, that I'm like the old man. If, if she needs something from me, I'm going to pull down my newspaper from in front of my eyes, go, uh-huh, and put my newspaper <laughs> back up. That's what my video games are. My video games are my newspaper. <laughs> you serious? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. And she, she just laughed because she plays games, too. So she's like, yeah, I get it. And I'm like, oh, good. I'm glad. Thanks. <laughs> It's so, like, uh, all right, mm -hmm. all right. Uh, let me just put this back on. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. That, that's the thing. Cool, great. Back to 
What are you doing? I'm casting. Leave me alone. <laughs> yes, she does. A hundred percent. Uh, yeah, my son has a headset too. We we all have headsets, so VR family. Uh, uh my son's six, and he has a a quest. Ooh. So he gets on. He's quite. He's not. Yeah, he has a quest one. I have a quest two. I have a uh, two CV ones and a Rift S. So my God. <laughs> yeah. VR enthusiast. I'm pretty sure is what you're called. <laughs> No, I'm a computer technician for a living, and I just I have electronics everywhere. It's just uh, what I do. It's my hobby. Right? Slash I love career. VR. Everything a, in here is great. A, a little bit of programming, I can write batch files and, you know, basic scripting. And I can do, like, some Unity work, C++, and some HTML5. But outside of that, I just... Ugh. I'm not great. <laughs> Uh, a Python. I did some work with Python when I was working on Raspberry Pis because I wanted to make an emulator. Uh, the coolest thing I did, I have, to take doing that. I have to take a picture. I took a mini fridge and I cut the front of the mini fridge out and put a monitor, well, an LCD screen that I got from one of the recycled laptops we had. And then I hooked it up to the Raspberry Pi that I put into the bottom of the fridge. And then I put tactile buttons and I made it a giant Game Boy. Right, oh big tactile, God. and it looks like a Game Boy. So you can load the emulator up and play uh, on the front of the fridge. You can literally hit the up, down, A, B, start, select buttons and play Pokemon on the front of the. Where fridge. can I buy one? <laughs> right. So it, it's so it's, it's super cool. Like I said, it's just yeah. Oh no! Why would you want gamepad support? You literally open the fridge, get your drink, and then hit, and then you start Just playing. Close it Pokemon, and continue playing. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, and uh, I don't have to worry about it overheating. Yeah. So I don't have to worry. Well, that's that'd be a heating issue, but I don't have to really worry about the heating issue because the you know fridge is cool on the back, so you yeah. know it keeps the it cool. And as long as you kept the condensation away from it, which, you know, you have to do a couple mods for that. Outside of that, it keeps the uh, Raspberry Pi cool for long periods of time, and you can sit there and play your Game Boy on your I would fridge. never leave it. Dude, it's so Pokemon fun. and VR are my favorite things. Yeah. I don't need anything else. Oh, actually, I need Magic the Gathering, but... <laughs> Oh yeah, Magic the Gathering is great. Uh, I'm, I'm I've an got MTG thousands fan. of dollars worth of cards under my bed. <laughs> Ooh, ditto. I have a picture of my. Uh, well, he was three at the time, eating a black lotus. Oh, <laughs> so, that just hurt me. <laughs> literally chewing what on a black it? lotus. Like I hurt. Oh, that hurt and, just, yeah. <gasps> no! Stop! Uh, Why did you tell me that? I. <laughs> oh. Look, I'm an alpha player from MTG. I've, I'm again. I'm old. Uh, oh my so god! <laughs> I I had it in my bottom shelf uh, where all my uh -huh. the rest of my cards are. And he goes in and he opens the the cabinet and he starts. No! Stop! Oh, stop! There stop. <laughs> and then he just finds one he liked and he was like, "How? Oh, no. This I'm like, one looks delicious." <laughs> and I literally just took my camera out and was like. <laughs> It's like, well, it's like, already gone. Well, Might as well get this. <laughs> there goes 20K. This is a 20K funny picture. Yeah. Oh, that's painful. Yeah. That hurt. It, was, it wasn't it was even my rough. card and that hurt me. That's uh, the most expensive meal he'll ever eat. Yeah. <laughs> dude, no, no. I, I saved it and then I'm going to frame oh. it and mail it to him when he's in college. And I was like, here, son, you ate your college fun. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's six. He's six now. But, um... Oh, so he did this three years ago. <laughs> yeah, this is three. So, um, the funny thing is, is that, uh, he... What other cards? He destroyed my Emmercruel, which is the, the uh... <gasps> fucking, uh, 1313. Uh, fucking, what is it? The Promised Land? Yeah, yeah. The Promised Land or the Iron Storm? Yeah. The, uh, Iron Storm. Still... Uh, he ate that, and then he ate a blight, several blight still colossuses, oh uh, oh. which are uh, twelve. I th How are they get so many 12? cards? <laughs> are they ten tens or twelve twelves? I can't. I think they're to to eleven eleven. They're or something like eleven eleven indestructible yeah. when it yeah, dies. Yeah, with trample. In, yeah. But they would they have trample in effect too? In fact, uh, yep. 
It's yeah, anchor. So, the effect is so fun. Yeah. No, 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 no. There's uh, I forget what card it is. But if you get enough mana in, you uh, play... Fuck, what is it? I can't remember. Uh, but you can summon an artifact creature from your library uh, uh, first turn, right? And Tinker? he has... Tra- uh, I think so, maybe? I don't know. Either way, you uh, can summon Tinker, an reshape. artifact. There's a lot uh, of... A artifact lot of creature from effects. your uh, library. Uh, and you can get enough mana for it in the first turn. So by turn two, you can get a 10, 10, uh, 11, 11, or 10, 10, probably still Colossus, Colossus with Trample and Infect on the turn, on the board by turn two. And you just one shot. Do you know that they, uh, they reprinted the Black Lotus, but for commander only? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Um, what oh, else? I had Lotus, a, love it. I had a really good, uh, zombie apocalypse deck that I called it. And, Essentially, it was a token baked deck, and it had Call of Arms. Call of Arms is a You don't want people to be like that's what's good about mmos that just come out like i like i'm you can't be a noob hey epic like every everybody's learning at the same time what's master wait, gathering wait is overrated magic the yeah oh, it's magic the gathering oh no 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 where is be, my you'd overrated? Be lucky, you'd be lucky to get me into Pokemon, maybe. What? Oh, no. I was into Pokemon for years. I went to the competitive cards. scene. Hell cards. yeah. Cards. I can do... I can beat your ass in Pokemon. Actually, my deck's kind of old, but... I have, like... All I have is, a, is no, an old, no, very no. old collector's... Uh, folder of the first well, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Inside. That's all I have. Ooh, They're Epic like a- Face might want that. How'd you get that Explorer tag, Epic Face? How'd you get the Explorer tag? Explorer, Epic. Is it Explorer the Realm oh. last time? Oh. Huh. I never got that. Hmm. Yo, that's awesome. The, um, I had Lord, Lord wanted like to do a Dev dungeon Slayer. like if you gave up waiting. Lava's right, we'll back on. And Bongo got some new recruits. Yeah. Um, who's Bongo? I heard him talking. I don't know who he is. Oh, I don't know. We just added him. 
Oh. Yeah. I did not get a good impression from him. Oh no. Have you seen a musket tank yet? I feel like I was doing that the other day. Yeah, man. They're they're pretty effective. Hey, what's up, Epic? I had one in my dungeon not too long ago. Tanking. Couldn't tank the boss, but tanked everything else. Did you finish on those star freshers, or do you need some more? Yeah, I don't need any. Okay. Oh, there's one over here I need. Yo, Epic, where did you go?
coisa. To your face and it turns red, that means that we can hear you. Oh. Don't lift it too high though, because it. Oh. Maybe I should talk. Uh, no, not necessarily. I mean, we can. Some. We should do battle guns. Hey, guys in the fellowship, if you don't know, like lava, I guess just lava, if you don't know, you can communicate with other fellowship members through your compass. What you do is you grab your compass and hit the... When it's green, hit the trigger. Make sure it's green and lift it up to your face. And when it's red, that means we can hear you. Yeah, I don't know if Lava Whale can hear me or not, but I don't know, he might be idle, but that's how you use the uh, fellowship chat. Can you hear me? Yep, you got it. Cool. Yeah, I didn't know you could do that. Um, yeah, I've been yeah, hearing you guys, like, but I have no you idea how to respond. Nobody's answering me. I was like, wait, they probably don't even know how to use this. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, awesome. Where are you at? We're, I'm right in front of the... Everybody's casting right in front of... Uh, well, Fellowship Court. That's where I'm at. Oh, oh, well, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to help some people right now, though, so I gotta pop off this. Oh. Yep, go ahead, do your thing. Yeah, um, I was... Fellowship chest looking. One. I'm gonna start putting some stuff. Nice. Nice. Oh, do you need this stuff? I'm sorry, man. Ah, oh, word. I'm sorry, I'm about to do a, a thing anyway. What's up, Epic? How you doing? That's good. That's good.
It's always oh, a, that's funny. It's the same teleport. Always a fiasco. Thank you. 